Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everybody. Uh, the class of the first semester medical college at Tripoli University, class number two. Today, inshallah, we are going to talk about one of the issues which are, uh, we say, important issues in the hospital, which uh, talks about the staff or what's called the hospital staff. As you know, the, uh, of course, uh, you are going, inshallah, in the future to work in a hospital. So you need to work together with uh, other uh, staff members. And of course, it's a teamwork and you should help each other to uh, fulfill the requirements of healthcare and of course, to take care of patients and sick people. Today, we are going to uh, look at one of the hospitals and we have, it's, it's called Heartland, Heartland Hospital. And we have an introduction to the staff. So we have now, we are going to listen to the introduction to the staff. Then after that, we are going to answer the questions related to the topic. Listen, please. You are going to listen two times and then we are going to discuss the topic together. Unit 2, Hospital Staff, Exercise 5, Page 7. Heartland Hospital, Staff Directory, First Floor. Dr. Paul Sartin, Cardiologist, Surgeon, Office 100. C4, Heart Disease, Heart Surgery. Dr. Lydia Greenwich, Anesthesiologist, Office 101. C4, Surgery Pain Relief and Preparation. Dr. Richard Collins, Chief Pediatrician, Office 102. C4, Children's Health. Dr. Anne Harold, Obstetrician, Office 103. C4, Labor, Pregnancy. Dr. Thomas Locke, Chief Radiologist. Office 104. C4. X rays, CT scans. Carol Howard, lab technician. C4. Test results. Second floor. Dr. Rowan McNeil, general practitioner. Office 202. C4. General medicine. Carol Simmons, NP, head nurse. Office 203, C4, Nursing Schedules. Dr. Charles Thiel, Pharmacist. Office 204, C4, Prescriptions. Okay, uh, as, as you can see from the Heartland Hospital, we have different departments. We have the card cardiology or uh, cardio diseases uh, department. We have uh, a pediatrician, we have obstetrician, we have lab technicians, we have general practitioners. So these are kinds of, we say, jobs and uh, we say physicians working in a hospital. Listen again and look at the way they pronounce the, the vocabulary. Listen again, please. Unit 2, Hospital Staff, Exercise 5, Page 7. Heartland Hospital, Staff Directory, First Floor. Dr. Paul Sartin, Cardiologist, Surgeon, Office 100. C4, Heart Disease, Heart Surgery. Dr. Lydia Greenwich, Anesthesiologist, Office 101. C4, Surgery Pain Relief and Preparation. Dr. Richard Collins, Chief Pediatrician. Office 102. C4, Children's Health. Dr. Anne Harold, Obstetrician. Office 103. C4, Labor, Pregnancy. Dr. Thomas Locke, Chief Radiologist. Office 104, 
C4, X-rays, CT scans. Carol Howard, lab technician. C4, test results. Second floor. Dr. Rowan McNeil, general practitioner. Office 202. C4, general medicine. Carol Simmons, NP, head nurse. Office 203. C4, nursing schedules. Dr. Charles Thiel, pharmacist. Office 204. C4, prescriptions. Okay, as usual, as we have said, um, I, I want to, 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 note, to, to, to notify something very important. You have the vocabulary here, for example, cardiologist, surgeon, uh, anesthesiologist. So we have pediatrician, uh, obstetrician. So we have these vocabulary. I want you to look at the glossary. يعني كل ما نأخذ حصة هذه المفردات التي موجودة أمامكم الآن موجودة وين؟ موجودة في تعريفاتها في الجلوسري اللي هو التعريفات اللي في نهاية الكتاب أوكي في نهاية الكتاب اللي هو المقرر عليكم في حاجة اسمها جلوسري هذا الجلوسري موجود في التعريفات مثلا هذه أنيز هذه اللي قبل شوية سمعناها anesthesiologist is a doctor who ensures that patients are unconscious or do not feel pain during surgery أو طبيبة التخدير بما معناه فنحفظ هذه المفردات التعريف فقط التعريفات في الجلوسري they are very important حصة بعد حصة حتتجمع عندكم الجلوسري كامل يكون عندكم لأنه يمثل اللغة المستعملة في الطب This is your language and you have to know your language Okay, uh, sorry for, uh, I just want to, uh, some people, they don't know how to, بالنسبة للصوت لتفعيل الصوت. Okay, look at this. Okay, وجد لتفعيل الصوت اضغطي على الأيقونة في نهاية uh, screen في الشاشة في نهاية الشاشة على اليسار لتفعيل الصوت. Okay. Yes, is it okay? Kul Lissa Russia was Sajida. Okay. Come on, Lilazma Stammer Bil Hissa, Lazim Tfaalun Assault. Yes. Okay, feel the bidai fa'al assault. Good. Yes. He a kona khayar fakat fakat fi start video, start audio. Ya video y audio. L video la had you shagal il camera. La to shagalun il camera. Okay. Yes. The camera don't use the camera. Okay. Yes. I think this is easy. ليست أسهل منها يعني. Okay. هنرجع الآن إلى الدرس. Now we have some questions related to. Yes. So we go back to unit two. So these are some of the jobs, the some of the we say department departments that you are going inshallah to work in hospitals. Now we have some questions related to these uh, to the uh, listening. So we have general practitioner, for example, as you can see, he's a physician, he or she, and they deal with uh, most of the we say patients. But if the patient or if the sick person has some difficulties with the heart, for example, they transfer this patient to the cardiology or uh, a cardiologist. That means a heart disease uh, specialist or surgeon. So in this way, they transfer. So the uh, general uh, practitioner is the first job. Okay, then we have pharmacists, we have nurses, we have lab technicians. So uh, we have radiology or radiologists who take CT scans and X-rays. All these work together in a hospital. Now we have, I want you to listen again and to look at these questions 
read the hospital and directory, then mark the questions, mark here the following statements, true or false. So number one, here, yeah, yeah, a patient having a heart surger, sur surgery will visit Dr. Sarton and Dr. Greenwich, okay? So is he a patient with a heart disease? will visit Dr. Sarton or Dr. Uh, Greenwich. Dr. Harold is best qualified to examine sick four-year-old. Sick four-year-old means a child. Pregnant women meet their doctor on the second floor. So uh, I'm going just to make this clearer to you. Just a minute. So you can see everything. You can see the, the whole thing. Yes. So here, yeah, let us clear it. So you can see the questions and you can listen again. Now listen again and answer the questions one, two, and three. Listen, please. Unit two, hospital staff. Exercise five, page seven. Heartland Hospital, staff directory, first floor. Dr. Paul Sartin, cardiologist, surgeon, office 100, C4, heart disease, heart surgery. Dr. Lydia Greenwich, anesthesiologist, office 101, C4, surgery pain relief and preparation. Dr. Richard Collins, chief pediatrician, office 102. C4, Children's Health. Dr. Anne Harold, Obstetrician. Office 103. C4, Labor, Pregnancy. Dr. Thomas Locke, Chief Radiologist. Office 104. C4, X-rays, CT scans. Carol Howard, Lab Technician. C4, Test results. Second floor. Dr. Rowan McNeil, General Practitioner. Office 202. C4, General Medicine. Carol Simmons, NP, Head Nurse. Office 203. C4, Nursing Schedules. Dr. Charles Thiel, Pharmacist. Office 204. C4. Prescriptions. Okay. Now for question number one. Now for question number one. A patient having a heart surgery will visit Dr. Sarton and Dr. Greenwich. So is that true or false? Yes. Very good. This is a true. So number one is true. Dr. Harold is best qualified to examine a sick four-year-old. So, no, Dr. Harold is not, this is his not business, so this is false. And finally, pregnant women meet their doctor on the second floor. No, it is not a uh, uh, second floor, it is in the first floor, so this is again false. Good. Yes, because she's a pregnant, so she can't go upstairs. So they put pregnancy and preg pregnant uh, pregnancy department and uh, pediatrician in the first floor to make it easy for women. Okay, now we have vocabulary and we have some vocabulary. Let me uh, make this clear. So number one is it true. Number two is false. Number three is false too. Now we have some definitions about vocabulary. This is very important. You have to know the meanings of the words in the class. Okay, you have to know. So we have match the words, the lab technician, uh, anesthesiologist, general practitioner, nurse, and pharmacist with A, B, C, D, and E. Now, number one, lab technician. Yes, so yes, very good. Yes, it is C. 
So a medical professional who works with samples in a laboratory. Okay, two. Yes, very good. You are very fast, Isra. Yes, Sajida. Uh, okay, Iman. Okay, this is B. Very good. So, an anesthesiologist is a person, a doctor who renders patients unconscious or prevents them from feeling pain. Yes. Number three, general practitioner. Very good, guys. Yes, all of you are answering very well. Okay, so this is A, very good. A doctor who provides many kinds of care to adults and children. Nurse, easy. What is a nurse? It's D, very good. So she's assistant, a medical professional who helps a doctor and cares for patients. Finally, pharmacist. Yes, yes, it's the last answer, which is number E. A pharmacist is a person who fills prescriptions and gives medicine. Uh, th th as I said, inshallah, uh, in the future, you are not going to have any problem with the language, with the language, the, the terminologies. أو ما يسمى بالجارغن لغة الطب اللغة الطبية المصطلحات الطبية تسمى جارغن هكذا تكتب J A R G O N جارغن so this is جارغن so uh, إن شاء الله in the future you, you have no problem with جارغن because this is your language every semester every topic you study or take you learn these things you practice them so no, you have no problem. But where is the problem? To communicate, to take these words, vocabulary, technician, general practitioner, pharmacist, uh, cardiology, surgeon, surgery, and put it with language. inshallah, this is my job. I'm going to help you. Wahanabda, inshallah, we have bi'idnillah, we have three semesters together. At the end of these three semesters, you will be able to communicate. Communication means two things. Talking, you talk, and you write. And when you listen, of course, you understand that you need to talk. Talking means communication with others. And, of course, writing. When you write a report, when you write a paper, or, or you write an essay or something, you know how to use jargon language with communication. Okay, now we move to uh, the second page. Go to the next page, please. Yes, so we have here, we have five sentences and we have to answer the correct answers. Read these sentences, uh, sorry, read the sentence and choose the correct word. So we have, one, two, three, four, five. The radiologist, pharmacist, has prepared the X-rays. So, radiologist or pharmacist, it's X-rays or CT scans. Very good. Yes, it is the radiologist, not the pharmacist. Two, the lab technician or the pediatrician is checking on the three-year-old means child. So it is the pediatrician, of course, the doctor of children. Yes. A great obstetrician cardiologist treated me after my heart, heart attack. Heart, so it's cardiologist, very good. Dealing with heart. Yes. So the anesthesiologist or the obstetrician says the baby is doing fine, baby. So obstetrician, obstetrician, obstetrician. Dr. Brown is a famous transplant surgeon or nurse. He said doctor, so this is easy. So he's not a nurse, he's a surgeon. Good. Now we have another listening, another listening. Uh, of course, in this course, I give too much listening. 
you listen a lot in this course. Why? To show you the language uh, of communication between doctors, patients, doctors, nurses, nurses, patients, to make you familiar with the language. Okay, now we have this listening. Now we have uh, listening, second listening actually. Well, Maram, um, unfortunately, uh, yes, many of you are asking to, yes, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm using Arabic from time to time, but it is English language. I have to use English. I have to push on you to learn the language, to develop your skills. And inshallah, at the end of the class, وفي نهاية الحصة راح نعطي بعض التعليمات الإضافية لتعليمكم اللغة اللغة لازم تحلون مشكلتها في السمسترات الثلاثة الأولى لأنه مش هتكونوا فاضين لحقيقة الدراسة والمواد وصعوبتها وتعقيدات المواد الطبية مش هتعطيكم فرصة أنه تتقنون اللغة فالآن كل واحد عنده فرصة ممتازة أوكي أنه نحل مشكلة اللغة وتتفرغون إلى مشاكلكم الأخرى مع ليست مشاكل لكن دراسة لكن لما تكون مشغول في باطنة ولا تقول لي لغة تقول لي لا باطنة أحياء دقيقة ولا لغة تقول لي أحياء دقيقة لكن now we can manage this we, we are taking the topics we are studying the for example surgery surgeons okay yes okay yes it's so so that, that, that's what we uh, I'm talking about so we have programs and you have to study every day, listening, listening for 20 minutes. That's it. If you keep listening for 20 minutes every day, this is like a prescription. I will give you the answer. You will be a doctor on the days of the day and you will give you the answer. I will give you the answer. Okay, so prescription. You have to study or to listen only for 20 minutes with reading. PDF, which is the program we Six Minute English. In this way, you can develop. Now we have a conversation between uh, a, a doctor and a nurse, and they are discussing some issues. Now, I want you to read the questions. Question number one, what is the main idea of the conversation? So question one here, the first question, what is the main idea of the conversation? Is it about patient's appointment? Is it about a patient's missing chart, something missing, or patient's blood pressure, or patient's general practitioner. So it is a conversation, a routine conversation between a nurse and a doctor. So is it about the appointment, is it about missing a chart, or blood pressure, or general practitioner? Question two, what will the woman likely to do next? So what is the next step? Examine the patient, call the cardiologist office, take the patient's blood pressure, or lead the man to the patient's room. So we have two questions. Now let's listen, and then we answer the questions. We listen two times, twice. Exercises 6 and 7, page 7. Dr. McNeil, could you come over here for a second? Sure, Carol. What do you need? I just took Ms. Grayson's blood pressure. It's 150 over 92. Hmm, that's a bit too high. Yes, I thought so too. Who's her cardiologist? Her chart says it's Dr. Sartin. He'll want to know about this. I'll let his office know to set up an appointment. Good idea. Thanks for consulting me. Okay, listen again. Exercises 6 and 7, page 7. Dr. McNeil, could you come over here for a second? Sure, Carol. What do you need? I just took Ms. Grayson's blood pressure. It's 150 over 92. Hmm, that's a bit too high. Yes, I thought so too. Who's her cardiologist? Her chart says it's Dr. Sartin. He'll want to know about this. I'll let his office know to set up an appointment. Good idea. Thanks for consulting me. Okay. So, the conversation between uh, the, uh, the doctor and the nurse. 
So what was the purpose, the main idea of the conversation? A, B, C, or D? Yes, okay, wow, you are really fast. You are really good, guys. So you can, you can answer the question very, very quickly. Yes, it is C, very good. Yes, correct, well done. Okay, and the number two, what will the woman, yes, likely to do next? What's the next step? Yes, what's your answer? Yes. Yes, it is good. Yes, you are. Yes, you are right. Again, call the cardiologist office. Good. Now we are going to fill in the gap. I want you to take a pencil, a pen or a pencil, and try to write the missing words here. So the missing words, we are going to listen again. And we are going to write some of the vocabulary the doctor and the nurse are going to tell us. So please listen again and try to write the missing words. Uh, of course, I'm going to write them myself, but it's a good idea if you listen and you try, then we do it together. Okay, let's do it. Exercises six and seven, page seven. Dr. McNeil, could you come over here for a second? Sure, Carol. What do you need? Okay. So it says, look, could you come here over? Come over. Look here. It's a request. It's a nice, gentle request. Not come here. No. Could you please? Would you come here? Could you come here? Is it possible to come here? So be polite. The principle of politeness. Okay, so could you come over here for a second? For a second. Sure, Carl, what do you need? Yes. Number two. I just took Ms. Grayson's blood pressure. It's 150 over 92. It's 150 over. Very good. Yes, 150 over 92. So this is high. Hi. Yes, I thought so too. Who's a cardiologist? So the doctor says, yes, he said that's a bit too high. That's a bit too high. A bit too high. Then, yes. I thought so. I thought so. This is so. Just a minute. Let me make it clearer. So this is here. So. I thought so too. Who's her cardiologist? Cardiologist. Yes. Okay. Her chart says it's Dr. Sartin. He'll want to know about this. I'll let his office know to set up an appointment. Good idea. Thanks for consulting me. He'll want to know about this. About. Okay. Yes. Okay, now let's listen again. Let us listen again to the whole conversation. And by the way, in, in, in this conversation, we have language and jargon. Language, communication, could you come over? Thank you. Would you take this note? It's on, it's 150 over 92. So, how do you And jargon. So, we have uh, for example, cardiologist, we have pressure, blood pressure, 
we have appointment. So these are the words you are going, inshallah, to use in your job. Listen again and try to focus on the pronunciation. Exercises 6 and 7, page 7. Dr. McNeil, could you come over here for a second? Sure, Carol. What do you need? I just took Ms. Grayson's blood pressure. It's 150 over 92. Hmm, that's a bit too high. Yes, I thought so too. Who's her cardiologist? Her chart says it's Dr. Sartin. He'll want to know about this. I'll let his office know to set up an appointment. Good idea. Thanks for consulting me. Okay, so today we uh, had some, we say, the topic about the, uh, the hospital's departments. And we, we, we dealt with different types of doctors and people working in a hospital. Of course, we have bigger hospitals and they have lots of other departments. We don't have now. We don't have them now here. But we learn every day. We take something and we extra. Then we add up and we build our knowledge about, we say, uh, the, uh, we say about the topic of medicine. Today, I want to uh, give you also unit three, actually. Why unit three? Because you missed one week. So I want to make all of all the classes equal, uh, English one, English two, English three, to make it equal, inshallah, for the uh, next period, which is the midterm and the final, to be in the same level, three of you. Okay, so now we are going to move to the next chapter which is, again, it's not going to be difficult. It's an easy chapter. It's about the hospital equipment. So hospital departments, the same thing we have in the hospital, we have equipment, al muaddat So medical supplies, as you can see from the photograph, we have, of course, now these are very simple uh, issues, but uh, we have oxygen tank, you have syringe, uh, we have uh, gauze, we have a wheelchair, we have biohazard waste container. Biohazard because it's a hospital. So in the hospital, uh, the waste or the rubbish is not like household waste or, or it's not like our houses or our homes waste. No, it's dangerous. It's either toxic, uh, it's full of uh, toxins and maybe poisonous, dangerous. So they should not be mixed together. So that's why we have this danger science. It's called biohazard. So all the uh, litter, all the, all the hospital's garbage or rubbish should be um, dealt with uh, very professionally. Because they are really dangerous. Uh, and they are they are not like our homes or houses uh, because we cook food. So our rubbish is mostly the remains of food, vegetables or other issues. But this one is really yes dangerous. Now we are going to have to talk about medical uh, supplies. And it says here, please keep everything in its proper place. We are going to listen again, listening, and then we have some, we say, uh, vocabulary about the instructions, and about how to, uh, to get rid of some of the waste or some of the instructions, how to use these medical supplies. Let's listen. I just they want to make it a little bit uh, clearer. Yes. Unit three, hospital equipment. Exercise five, page nine. Medical supplies. Please keep everything in its proper place. place. Large items such as wheelchairs and pressure mattresses are at the back of the room. Supplies for patient rooms, such as gowns and bedpans, are on the left. 
Syringes are on the top shelf on the right. Dispose of used syringes in the sharps containers. Gauze, latex gloves, and other examination supplies are under the syringes. Dispose of these items in a biohazard waste container. If any items are out of stock, please submit an order form to the front desk. Oxygen tanks for patient rooms are on the second floor next to surgery. Okay. So、uh, he is giving instructions about how to use the gloves, where to, where to find them, where do you find syringes, how to get rid of them, and where、uh, do you find the、uh, we say the oxygen tanks. So、uh, these are just we say simple simple instructions. Listen again, then we go to the question. Listen, please. Unit three, hospital equipment, exercise five, page nine. Medical supplies. Please keep everything in its proper place. Large items such as wheelchairs and pressure mattresses are at the back of the room. Supplies for patient rooms, such as gowns and bedpans, are on the left. Syringes are on the top shelf on the right. Dispose of used syringes in the sharps containers. Gauze, latex gloves, and other examination supplies are under the syringes. Dispose of these items in a biohazard waste container. If any items are out of stock, please submit an order form to the front desk. Oxygen tanks for patient rooms are on the second floor next to surgery. Okay, so、uh, we have some、uh, some of the equipment, and he said pressure mattress. So the pressure. This is the as you can see here in front of you. So it's a, a very、uh, it's a kind of it's not a bed. But for emergency, so when a, a, a patient comes comes to the ER room, or for the ISAF or the Tawara ER emergency room, they put these people on we say pressure mattress. It's not like our mattresses at home, but it is for designed for hospitals. Also, we have、uh, some other issues like pressure tank or oxygen.、Uh, sorry, I said pressure. So it's、uh, just a minute. It's oxygen tank, and we have goes, and we have, of course, the masks now, and we have the syringe, and we have wheelchair, and we have the biohazard, biohazard waste. Yes,、uh, yes, supplies, tejizat, medical supplies, tejizat tobia, tools, things. Okay, so now I have supplies. My Teaching supplies. I, I. This is the the earphone, the pen. What, what, what other things? Maybe the the papers. I have some papers, some books in here. Teaching supplies. So, when I teach, writing supplies. So I need things to work. So a syringe. The the doctors they need syringes. They need gloves, latex gloves, latex because they are very special. Okay, oxygen tanks for. Uh, for for maybe patients now with corona, so they need oxygen. So this oxygen is needed. So these are the supplies, the things. Okay, you have a dictionary. You can use a dictionary in your mobile phone, and you can know the the meaning of the word. Okay, now we have some questions, little questions, not very difficult ones. True and false. Number one: the storage room cannot hold large items like pressure mattresses. The storage room cannot hold. Let us make it smaller, like this here, so you can see the passage. And yes, and number two, oxygen tanks are stored in patient rooms. So the、uh, number two, oxygen tanks are stored in, in patient rooms. Number three, syringes should be disposed of. In a biohazard waste container. So listen and answer questions one, two, and three. Listen again. Unit three: Hospital equipment. Exercise five, page nine. Medical supplies. Please keep everything in its proper place. Large items such as wheelchairs and pressure mattresses 
are at the back of the room. Supplies for patient rooms, such as gowns and bedpans, are on the left. Syringes are on the top shelf on the right. Dispose of used syringes in the sharps containers. Gauze, latex gloves, and other examination supplies are under the syringes. Dispose of these items in a biohazard waste container. If any items are out of stock, please submit an order form to the front desk. Oxygen tanks for patient rooms are on the second floor next to surgery. Okay, number one. The storage room cannot hold large items. Cannot. Number one. Number one, cannot, not can. Look here, guys. Look here. He said large items such as wheelchairs and pressure matter are at the back of the room. Back of the room. So, the storage room cannot hold. No, it can. The answer here, it can. It can. So, here he says, cannot so this is false number one is false not a true number two oxygen tanks are stored in patient rooms look here are in the on the second floor to the surgery next to the surgery okay so number two is false again so this is false and number three Syringes should be disposed of in a biohazard waste. Look here, syringes here. Syringes, look at syringes. They should be disposed in the shark containers. So again, number three is false. So one is false, two is false, and three is false too. So, uh, three of them, false, false, false. Okay, anyway, this is not a good day for the people who are doing true, false, true, false. So, all of them are false today. Okay, now vocabulary. Yes, let's do the vocab. Match the words one to five with the definitions A to E. So we have a syringe, sharp container, biohazard waste container, gone and goes. Yes, so yes, you can answer the questions. So number one, syringe, syringe. Syringe, number one. Yes, very good. Number one is D. Number two, sharp, sharps container is C. Very good. Three, biohazard waste container is number E. Well done. Excellent. You are really good, guys. MashaAllah, you are really good. For gone, it is B. And finally, goes is A. Okay. So D, C, E, B, and A. Now we are going to uh, choose the correct answer in here. Number three. Biohazard, biohazard, this one here, look here. Biohazard is here. This is biohazard. Biohazard means anything deals with chemicals. Anything with chemicals, okay, like medicine, like um, uh, we say chemical issues, detergents, muhaddat al tanzeef التطهير بطهيرات, okay? So we have, these are called biohazard uh, with acids اللي فيها الحوامض, hydrochloric uh, uh, HCl, 
سالفريك اسيد حامض الكبريتيك حامض نتريك اسيد حامض النتريك مثلا ذيز ار كولد بايو هازارد فيها خطوره تمس الجلد تمس الجسم تمس العينين تعمل مشاكل سو ذيز ار بايو هازارد وهذه العلامه عادة ما تأتي مع الأشياء المشعة، أوكي؟ في علامة أخرى صفراء لونها أصفر معناها إشعاعية. This one الحمراء هذا this one color معناها بايو هازارد فمعناها المواد هنا you have to be careful handle with care خصوصا معدات طبية اللي تحتوي أحماض تحتوي محاليل قلوية، أوكي؟ قد تكون يعني حتى تحرق البشرة تحرق الوجه أو العيون إذا لمستها يعني. So they call them biohazard. Okay, now we have the uh, the next question, the final question. Read this sentence and choose the correct word. Read the sentence and choose the correct word. So number one, Okay, so correct. So wear a new pair of pair of gowns or latex gloves to examine each patient. So we have to not a gown, not gown, no. It's latex, latex gloves. To examine means to examine, you have to touch. Examine means you have to touch the patient. You have to see, to put your fingers on the eye, to open the mouth, to see the skin, to see the body, the chest. So you are going to touch. So you need these latex gloves, the special gloves. Okay. Number two. Yes. The bedpans, the latex gloves in this room need to be uh, emptied before you leave. So Huna, we have, uh, sorry, I said an oxygen tank wheelchair helps Mr. Hayes breathe. Breathe, of course, it's the oxygen tank. Number three, the bed pans or latex, latex gloves in this room need to be emptied before you leave. Empty, emptied. So the bed Pans. Please get Mr. Wilson a bedpan, a wheelchair, so he can move around. Move around. Yes, so that's a wheelchair. Yes. Five, order a, a pressure mattress or an oxygen tank for Mrs. Jones to help her back pain, back pain. So back pain, the back, my back, back pain. Okay, so it is a pressure mattress. So these are some of the, yes. Uh, not bad, pen. it's a bedpan, bedpan, not bad, bad pen. No, what's the meaning of? It's a bed pans. Okay, bedpans, uh, when sick people, uh, they sleep in the hospital. So sometimes they, they can't go to, to, the, to the toilet. So they have these bedpans. يعني تكون زي stainless steel وعاء للفضلات. Okay, for urine. So, so يعني خصوصا في, في المستشفيات. مريض لا يستطيع أن يذهب إلى الحمام فيتم من تخلص من اليورين اللي هو التبول أو الأكسراز اللي هي to put this bed pan yes bed it's called bed pan it's made of stainless steel هذا شغل المنظفين وشغل الناس اللي تخدم في المستشفيات yes it's a hospital this is not a hotel this is not a five star hotel we have sick people we have some good things and we have some bad things so this is part of the business okay anyway Yes. Now, let's move to 
to the next part as usual. Now we are going to listen to a conversation. The conversation now, the conversation is between two nurses, two not doctors, nurses. So they are going to talk about some issues about some of the supplies in the hospital. So uh, listen carefully and answer these two questions. What are the speakers? What are the speakers mainly talking about? About ways to use supplies, how to organize the storage closet, closet, do lab. Supplies, the need to be replaced, uh, replaced. How to properly dispose of syringes. So what is the purpose? Why they are talking about? Ways to use uh, less supplies, to organize the storage closet, supplies that need to be replaced, or uh, how to properly dispose of syringes. Number two, what will the man likely to do next? By the way, the word nurse, كلمة نارس بالإنجليزية تطلق على المذكر والمؤنث يعني إذا كان ممرض أو ممرضة both are nurse what will the man likely to do next empty the sharp the sharps containers check the exam rooms find new latex gloves or order more syringes we are going to listen two times then we are going to answer these two questions let's listen Exercises 6 and 7, page 9. Gary, have you done your supply checks for the day? Yes, I just finished them up. Are we short on anything? Yes, we need some more latex gloves in exam rooms 1 and 3. OK. Anything else? There are only a few syringes left in the storage closet. OK. I'll have to order some of those. That reminds me. Don't forget to empty the sharps containers before you leave. Will do. See you tomorrow, Carol. Listen again. Exercises 6 and 7, page 9. Gary, have you done your supply checks for the day? Yes, I just finished them up. Are we short on anything? Yes, we need some more latex gloves in exam rooms 1 and 3. OK. Anything else? There are only a few syringes left in the storage closet. OK. I'll have to order some of those. That reminds me. Don't forget to empty the sharps containers before you leave. Will do. See you tomorrow, Carol. Okay. Now let's answer the questions. Okay. So... Yes, number one. Number one is, as you said, yes. Number one, no, no. Some of you uh, answered this correctly, some of you wrongly. Number one is C. So supplies that need to be replaced, need to be replaced. I'll let you listen to it again. Number two. He, she wanted to empty the sharps container. Okay, listen again, please. Listen. Exercises 6 and 7, page 9. Gary, have you done your supply checks for the day? Yes, I just finished them up. Are we short on anything? Yes, we need some more latex gloves in exam rooms 1 and 3. Okay, anything else? There are only a few syringes left in the storage closet. OK. I'll have to order some of those. That reminds me. Don't forget to empty the sharps containers before you leave. Will do. See you tomorrow, Carol. OK. So you can see now...
you can see the meaning is clear. Okay. Now we have we have seen this. Now we are going to finish the conversation as usual. The, the male nurse and the female nurse between the two nurses. Now listen again and try to write. It's a chance to practice writing. If it is right, it's okay. If it is wrong, it's okay too. It doesn't matter. It matters if you learn. If it is right or wrong, it's not a big deal anyway. Okay, but you have to learn how to take a note. كيف تكتب كلمة بسرعة تسمعها بسرعة. Now let's try. Then I will write the correct answer. Listen again, please. Exercises six and seven, page nine. Gary, have you done your supply checks for the day? Yes, I just finished them up. Are we short on anything? Yes. So, Gary, have you done your supply checks for today? Yes, what's your answer? You can write your answer if you know. Uh, okay. Is that difficult? Okay, give it a try, guys. So, yes, I just finished them up. So, are we short? Are we short? Are we, are we short on anything? Are we short on anything? Yes. What did he say? Yes, we need some more latex gloves in exam rooms one and three. Yes, we... Yes, we need more latex gloves in exam rooms one and three. Then, left in the storage closet. Okay, I'll have to order some of those. That reminds me. Okay. So he said, okay, anything else? Anything else? There are only few. There are only few syringes left in the storage closet. Okay, I'll have to order some of, the, of those. That reminds me, don't forget to, don't forget to, don't forget to. The last one, the last part. Don't forget to empty the shops containers before you leave. Will do. See you tomorrow, Carol. Okay, we'll do. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Now, this is the end of the lesson. So, as you can see, it's not very difficult. It's just to have this language. Now, after this, we are going to go to the grammar part. grammar No, it's language. 
learning grammar as a language نتعلمها كلغة لماذا ببساطة شديدة إنه ال grammar ثابت يعني يعني الأزمنة ثابتة we don't have new tenses يعني لن نأتي مثلا بعد شهرين أو بعد سنتين يطلع لنا مثلا زمن جديد مثلا no we have past simple and future past simple and future صحيح إنه تختلف شوية عن اللغة العربية لكن when you listen every day and you read you'll be familiar with the language ليس من المطلوب منك أن تتكلم بنفس طريقة نطق الـ 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 الأجانب أو الإنجليزة أو الأمريكان no. لكن مطلوب منك تنطقها بشكل صحيح يعني حتى لو كان عندك أكسنت I have an accent أنا عندي أكسنت معناها اللهجة اللهجة اللي يعني أصلي من, من العراق وتعلمت اللغة الإنجليزية أنت من ليبيا وتكلمت اللغة الإنجليزية فاللهجة الليبية تؤثر اللهجة المصرية تؤثر اللهجة العراقية تؤثر It doesn't matter As long as you are following or giving the correct requirements of the language. ما زال إحنا نعطي اللغة بإطارها الصحيح وشنو كان عنده أكسنت شنو المشكلة ولهذا لا تفكر بالأكسنت فكر بالكوركت لانجوج في اللغة الصحيحة التي يجب أن تستخدم والأكسنت هتبقى الأكسنت اللهم إذا أنت بالاستماع الشديد أو الاستماع المستمر في فترة طويلة حيتغير اللسان باعتبار عماركم ليست كبيرة في العشرينات You can have this American or British accent. يعني عدكم فرصة أحسن مني يعني to become to have this accent or to master the accent perfectly because it needs time and it needs brain ability. And of course, an old person like me is not like a young person like yours. So, so this is not the issue. So anyway, ليس هذا هو المقصود. هذه لكن You can. فلا تعتقدون إنه الجرامر اللي حناخذه صعب وكذا. No, no. It's part of language. هو عبارة عن لغة. يجب أن نفهم اللغة ونطبق عندما نسمعها نفهم المطلوب وعندما يطلب من عندنا نتكلم نوصل المطلوب. That's it. Okay. وكل من باختصاصه you have your jargon, register and jargon, register and jargon اللي هو لغة المكان ولغة المصطلح مكانكم في المستشفى المكان في المستشفى إلى مصطلحات ولغة خاصة ولغة المستشفيات والطب والكذا لغتها خاصة تختلف عن لغة سوبر ماركت مثلا أو تأجر تاكسي أو تشتري بيتزا مثلا أوكي okay? it's different ولهذا إحنا حنركز على لغة الاختصاص ثم اللغة العامة العادية كلكم تستطيعون بإذن الله خلال هذه الثلاث سمسترات أن تتقنوها وتنطلقون في اللغة piece of cake. Okay, now let's start. لنبدأ لنبدأ حنأخذ ال grammar now unit two. إحنا أخذنا last time we started with unit one. Yes, unit one فقط للتذكير. طبعا في الصفحة الأولى في unit one في exercise number one كان في مشكلة في حاولت إنه نحصل طبعة. أفضل من هذه لكن لم أحصل مع الأسف والكتاب الأصلي مفقود someone took the book from me مش عارف لا أعلم لا أعلم منه أخذ كتاب الكتاب الأصلي عندي لكن someone took it واحد أو استعار مني ولم يرد لي الكتاب I don't know who. لا أتذكر من حقيقة وإلا كان حلينا المشكلة لكن سأحلها إن شاء الله لكن لحب أنه تركزوا لي عليه هو هذا unit one Unit 1 تركزوا لي على الصفحة الأولى This one here يعني اليونت تركز لي على This page This is very important يعني هذه هي الصفحة المهمة هذه very important فقط Read A, B, C, D, E خلاص فهمنا الجمل التي هنا Okay You are okay خلاص انتهى الموضوع التمارين عبارة عن تطبيق لهذا الشرح فلا يهمني التمارين Yes Okay, now we have now we have في اللي في اللي غادر ال المحاضرة شنو المحاضرة لم تتم لسه قاعدين إحنا عندنا حصة. Okay, now we have part two اللي هو present simple and present continuous. The present simple راح نأخذ اليوم زمناء زمنين to the present simple when we talk about facts هنتكلم عن الحقائق. 
Well, continuous, when we talk about, when we describe uh, status, يعني الحالة التي يستمر فيها الإنسان. The present continuous هو عبارة عن زمن يتحرك يأخذ مسافة ثم يقف. أما the present simple هو عبارة عن حقيقة فحت. فتنقول he is a boy. I am uh, Dr. Shaiban. She is uh, مثلا my sister. إذن she is, I am, they are. هذه عبارة بهذا. Or he speaks English. I speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. They play football. إذن هنا play, speak. هذه كلها عبارة عن facts حقاق. عندما هذه الحقاق أو هذه الأفعال تتحرك شوية يصبح فيها حركة وتصبح حالة الجسم حالة أنه يتحرك. مثلا I am talking. إذن هناك حركة في بداية الحصة ومستمرة بعد شوية حتنتهي. You are listening and watching. أنتوا تستمعون الاستماع مستمر. And watching وتشاهدون والمشاهدة مستمرة. حناخذ لازم تخلوا في بالكم احنا عندنا ثلاث ازمنة مهمة جدا جدا في التعلم اللغة الانجليزية اللي هي present simple, present continuous, present perfect و past simple, past continuous, past perfect و future simple, future continuous, و future perfect طبعا الازمنة احنا عندنا صح present simple و present continuous و uh, sorry past simple, present simple, و future simple ماضي مضارع مستقبل لكن هذه الأزمنة الثلاثة كل واحد فيهم مقسم إلى خمسة إذا قلنا past simple ماضي بسيط في خمس أنواع ما هي past simple الماضي البسيط past continuous الماضي المستمر past perfect الماضي التام past perfect continuous الماضي التام المستمر و past perfect continuous passive voice الماضي التام المستمر المبني للمجهول. Then number two عندنا present simple المضارع البسيط. عندنا present simple مضارع بسيط. Present continuous مضارع مستمر. Present perfect مضارع تام. Present perfect continuous مضارع تام ومستمر. و present perfect continuous passive voice مضارع تام مستمر مبني للمجهول. والمستقبل نفس القصة future simple future continuous future perfect future perfect continuous and future perfect continuous passive قد يبدو الكلام الآن صعب يقول لك هذا وين وكيف راح أسيطر عليه نو 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 مجرد ما تفهم شنو معنى present شنو معنى مضارع شنو معنى past ماضي شنو معنى future ثم تأتي الأنواع الأخرى وتتداخل لكن كل واحد في زمن قد يبدو هذا الكلام كثير أو تقول صعب وكيف نو نو لأنه ثابت يعني هذه الخمسة في المضارع والخمسة في الماضي والخمسة في المستقبل لا تتغير أنا لا حغيرها ولا أنت حتغيرها ولا بعد مئة سنة تتغير They are the same الذي يتغير هي المفردات أوكي okay. يس yes. هنتكلم الآن على unit 2 We often prefer for example I really enjoy traveling فلاحظوا الجملة الأولى ماذا تتكلم تتكلم عن I enjoy traveling أنا أحب السفر أستمتع بالسفر I really enjoy traveling خلينا نغير اللون إلى الأزرق أفضل The group currently consists of five people إذا نشوف إحنا الجروب جروب سنة أولى أو السمستر الأول The group your group consists of 300 students ممكن 300 و 350 إذا هنا consists of معناها fact حقيقة هذه الفاكت أتأخذ المضارع البسيط But we hope to get more members soon Other common state verbs اللي هي الأفعال تتكلم عن الحالة عن الوصف Agree اللي هي يص... يوافق Assume يفترض Believe يؤمن Belong to ينتمي Contain يحتوي Cost يكلف Disagree يعارض feel يشعر hate يكره have يملك hope يتأمل أو يأمل know يعرف like يحب أو يعجب بالشيء look ينظر أو يبدو هنا يبدو الشيء مش ينظر بعينيه لكن يبدو يبدو عليه he looks tired يبدو عليه التعب 
She looks beautiful. هي تبدو جميلة. Love يحب own يمتلك prefer يفضل realize يعتقد regret يندم أو يتندم على شيء resemble يمثل و smell يشم و taste يتذوق هذه the state verbs هذه تسمى the stative verbs stative لماذا stative؟ لأنها تمثل الحالة الذهنية الحالة الوجدانية أو العاطفية أو الحالة العقلية لا تأخذ ing هذه الأفعال تأتي بهذا الشكل يعني ما تقول I love you أنا أحبك I hate you لماذا لا نستطيع أن نقول I am loving you لا لأنه كلمة يحب الشخص أو يكره الشخص يعني مش تقول والله أنا بعد دقيقة راح أبدأ أكره فلان راح أبقى أكره عشر دقائق بعدين أبدي أحبه no you can't لأن مثلا يعتقد يفهم يحب يكره يندم يعتقد يملك يبدو يعرف يتأمل هذه كلها تأتي في لحظتها أوكي يا أما تشوف موقف وتعجب بالشخص تشوف موقف تكره الشخص تشوف موقف تتعاطف مع الشخص تمشي تجيك الرائحة تشمها يعني مش تقعد الرائحة مستمرة لا شميت هذه شيء مثلا نقول صنت طعام صنت بيرفيوم اوكي سو بيرفيوم عطر صنت حريق اذا هنا يحصل الشيء فلا تستطيع ان تستمر به لا تستطيع الاستمرار به وتنهيه شنو معنى بريزنت كونتينيوس ببساطه شديده انه الفعل الذي يبدا يبدا مش افعال شاذه ليست شاذه ليست شاذه منو يا مرام ذس از نوت شاذه لا لا هذه الأفعال لا نستطيع أن نبدأها ولا نستطيع أن ننهيها بإرادتنا يعني شو تقول مثلا أنا الآن أنا الآن مثلا أكره مثلا حسام شخص نقول حسام اسمه حسام أكره وبعد خمس دقائق سأتوقف عن الكره ثم أحبه كيف هذه أشياء خارجة عن الإرادة فسميت ستيتف لأنها تتكلم عن حالة الإنسانية اوكي بهذا الشكل تيست بيلونج تو ينتمي ينتمي يعني واحد ينتمي الى 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 مجموعه ينتمي الى مجموعه انا مستمر في الانتماء وبعد 10 دقائق ساطلع من هذا الانتماء لست بيدك لكن سبيكينج تستطيع ان تبدا الكلام تستمر بالكلام تتوقف عن الكلام توقفت عن الكلام اوكي درينكينج يشرب الماء درينك تشرب وتتوقف تبدا ثم تنهي لكن كلمه مثلا أج... مثلا بريفير uh, يفضل رياليز يعتقد اوكي ديسجري uh, لا يوافق uh, لا تستطيع ان تبداها ثم تنهيها ب... بارادتك لازم شيء يجي من برا يبداها وينهيها اما النوم سليب مثلا انت تمشي تنام ترقد الساعه آه، 6 تنوض مثلا الساعه 10 انت باختيارك نمت ونضت او رقدت وقعدت اذا باختيارك سياقه درايفنج تبدا السياقه فتره 10 ربع ساعه سنه ان شاء الله تبقى سنه تسوق وتنهي الشيء فهذه الافعال سميت بالستيتف يس 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 مش ثابته لا <تصفيق> اوكي مثلا انجوي ترافلينج I I enjoy أتمتع بالسفر يعني شو نقول I am enjoying مثلا أنا متمتع الآن وبعد خمس دقائق راح ينتهي التمتع مثلا مثلا لا لكن أنا تقول أنا أحب السفر خلاص state of verb حالة عقلية تحبين السفر أكره الرطوبة أوكي أكره الرطوبة شنو يعني أكره الرطوبة يعني الرطوبة أكرهها بعد 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 نصف ساعة راح أبدي أحبها مثلا نو no. I don't like yes I hate humidity شخصيا يعني I hate uh, humidity أكره الرطوبة that's it state of verb حالة بهذا الشكل واحد يجي يقول I love the summer أحب الصيف يعني شنو يحب الصيف يحب ثلاث شهور والشهر الرابع يبدأ يكرهها مثلا no إذا هذه state of verbs however لكن مع هذا أنه لا تأخذ ing أو لا تأخذ استمارية We can use the present continuous with some state verbs. 
قسم منهم ياخذ اي ان جي لكن في حالات محدده وين عندما وي وونت تو امفاسايز ذات ا سيتويشن از تيمبرري عندما اريد ان امفاسايز اركز على نقطه انه هذا الموقف مؤقت مؤقت يعني الى بدايه ويتحرك شوي ونهاية مؤقتا مؤقتا يعني واحد يجي يقول لك اسكن في هذا البيت لمده اسبوع مؤقتا حاعطيك سيارتي تستخدمها اليوم بس مؤقتا لين تصلح سيارتك خذ الموبايل بتاعي يومين لين يصلحون موبايلك مؤقتا اذا beginning end بدايه وسط نهايه for example I consider him to be extremely fortunate. I consider him. Then this is my view. Then رأي أنا أعتقد I consider him to be extremely fortunate. أعتقد محظوظ. I am considering taking early retirement. هذا الشخص يتكلم عن نفسه. أنا أفكر. Okay. أن أخذ تقاعد مبكرا. I'm considering. Buying a new car. قاعد أفكر أن أشتري سيارة جديدة. مش حيقعد يفكر 20 سنة لكن يفكر ممكن يوم يومين يقرر يا يشتري يا لا. فما تقول I am considering here. لا نغير من الستيت فيرب لكن نحدد للتركيز على الفعل لفترة محددة. I am considering أفكر أن أضيف مادة إلى المقرر. مرات أضيف مرات لا. لكن مش حقعد ست شهور والله لسه ما قررتش نو no. I am considering هذا الشخص الذي هو يشتغل taking early retirement والله أفكر أتقاعد مبكرا يعني قبل ما تكمل المدة اللي هي 63 سنة أو 65 سنة ممكن بعد كم شهر أقدم على التقاعد إذا هنا considering the children love having Jane stay with us فهنا عندنا أطفال في سيدة آنسة اسمها جين. The children love having Jane stay with us. الأطفال يحبوها خالتهم عمتهم يحبوها. They love Jane. يحبون جين. The children are loving having Jane stay with us. إذا الأطفال الآن الآن يحبون جين تبقى معانا. يعني الآن هي قاعدة عندنا قاعدة لكن يحبون تطول هذه القاعدة. They love They are loving Jane. إذا loving Jane مش حتبقى 50 سنة Jane، لكن هذه الفترة بالذات اللي هي ممكن إجازة يومين، إجازة أسبوع، يحبون Jane تبقى معاهم بهذا الشكل. They are loving Jane، لأن احتمال Jane تمشي، Jane جاية زيارة بسيطة، لا احنا قاعدين أسبوع، خليها تقعد معنا أسبوع. احنا ماشيين شهر، خليها تقعد معنا شهر. احنا قاعدين يومين، خليها تقعد معنا اليومين، وهكذا. So they are loving. فإذا حسب المعنى ليس كل الأفعال اللي هي consider love والفعل see مثلا with some verbs used to describe a temporary state اللي هي بعض الأفعال التي تصف يسموها temporary state الحالة المؤقتة ache الألم لما تقول عندي tooth ache واحد عنده ألم هذا الألم مش يعني واحد سنة يوجعه 40 سنة مثلا سنة توجعه أو سوسة عنده عمرها 500 سنة ما فيش هذا الكلام أكيد توجعه يوم يومين يمشي الدكتور يحولها أو يشوف له حل باك أيك عنده ألم في ظهره هذا الألم مؤقت أيضا ممكن يعمل علاج يعمل عملية كذا يتخلص منه فهذه الأفعال هذه هي اللي هي أيك وفيل وهارت ولوك لوك معناها يبدو مش ينظر يعني look تأتي ينظر للشيء I'm looking at you أنا أنظر لكم You are looking at me أنت تنظر لا 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 هنا look معناها يبدو He looks tired يبدو عليه التعب He looks brilliant يبدو عليه العبقرية يعني مش مكتوب عبقري على على وجهه ولا مكتوب كلمة عبقورة أو عبقرية أو شوف شنو لا لا لكن هو من حركاته من كلامه ذكي يجاوب على أسئلة يطلع بأفكار جيدة فنقول he looks smart he looks genius يبدو عليه الذكاء يبدو عليه العبقرية there is little difference in meaning when we use the present simple and present continuous for example what's the matter with Bill خيرة Bill شنو في Bill he looks awful 
he is looking awful فهنا يبدو فضيع يبدو مريع he is looking awful معناه الآن يعني بل شكله مش عاجبني he looks awful ممكن احنا معزومين لمكان وقلنا كل واحد يلبس حاجة كويسة لابس لي لون عجيب غريب فنقول he is looking awful الآن في هذه اللحظة هناك شيء مستمر لكن لا يبقى دائما هو بشكل الفظيع المريع أكيد حد حيكلمه يقول له أنت شنو لابس ولا لا يليق يمشي يغير ويرجع فإذا العملية إلها بداية ونهاية When have has a, a, a non-state meaning for example مثلا eat عند مرات الفعل have الهاف الذي هو يملك يأتي ب eat مثلا I have breakfast at 7 o'clock يعني لا لا معناها انا امتلك الفطور الساعه 7 لا I have it means انا اتناول breakfast at 7 o'clock افطر الساعه السابعه صباحا اوكي okay. بعد صلاه الفجر I have breakfast اذا have she has lunch at 3 she has lunch تتناول الغداء الساعه الثالثه اوكي okay. فحنقول مثلا what's that terrible noise what's that terrible noise the neighbors are having a party اذا هنا شنو هذه الضوجه شنو شنو هذه الضجه شنو هذا الازعاج يقول لك the neighbors are having a party الجيران دايرين حفله ليش شنو معنى دايرين حفله وعاملين حفله معناه لها بدايه بدايه ثم حتى انتهي الحفله مش حتقعد اسبوعين 10 ايام ليل نهار اكيد اربع خمس ساعات وتكمل الحفله وكل من يمشي لحاله اذا are having a party اوكي okay. we use the present continuous اللي بعدها when we talk about changes يعني اللي قلنا عليه developments and trends عندما هناك تغيير في حاله الشخص the growing number of visitors is damaging the footpaths the growing number of visitors العدد الزوار المتزايد is damaging the footpath يدمر الممشى مثلا في طريق ولا في حديقة ولا كذا يجوها عشر آلاف زائر عشر آلاف سايح يعني بطريقة مشيهم وكذا is damaging the growing number of visitors العدد المتزايد من الزوار يدمر الطريق المشي اللي هو الممشى مثلا I am beginning to realize how difficult it is to be a teacher. I am beginning to realize. Ha, uh, to realize. هذه الجملة أنا بدأت أعتقد أو بديت أشوف uh, كم هي صعبة مهنة المعلم أو المدرس. أنتوا بدأ الآن في السمستر الأول عندما تجي على كل مواد الكيمياء العضوية وال وال والكيمستري والهيستولوجي وال والجاينا والكذا تبدا عاد المواد عليكم حتبدون شو تقولون نفس هذه الجمله. I am beginning to realize how difficult is to be a doctor. حنغير كلمه teacher ونقول دكتور عشان تحفظوها. انا بدات ان افهم بدات بالفهم مدى صعوبه ان يصبح الشخص دكتور يعني مش دكتور بالاسم يحطون حرف الدال دال قبل اسمه. محمد علي دكتور محمد علي نو no. لازم تدرس ولازم تتعب فتقول I am beginning to بديت أفهم ليش الطب صعب من هذه الأشياء يس yes. لكن هو ليس صعب كل الذي حتعملوه إنه دراسة تدرسوا وأنتم متميزين وأنا أعرف إنه أنتم متميزين وما شاء الله مجامعكم ممتازة ومعناها أنتم الصفوة من المجتمع أو الصفوة من الطلبة وصح يا شيء صعب لكن مش مستحيل حتى أنا لو أدرس الطب الآن حيكون صعب علي لأنه شيء جديد الصعوبة ليس بصعوبتها لكن لأنه it's new it is something new جديد بعدين by practice you'll be okay okay طبعا أنا متعمد الآن أتكلم بالعربية شوية كبداية في الجرامر ثم شوية شوية راح تنقص العربية لأنه الكلام حيكرر بعضه لكن حينتهي ثم ندخل باللغة we have to understand The language. ولهذا أنا أركز على كل جملة من أجل أن تفهمها مثل ما هي وتفهم استخدامها نمبر دي When we tell a story or a joke عندما نخبر قصة أو نكتة يعني مرات تسمع قصة في الراديو في 6 minute English البرنامج اللي بلغتكم عليه أو اللي 
وجهتكم عليه they tell a story يحكوا لنا قصة or a joke أو نكتة the main events using the present or past عادة يستخدموا أما المضارع البسيط والماضي البسيط طبعا حتى في العربي إحنا نقول مرة واحد قال لك في واحد كان في وحدة كان في مجموعة مرة قالوا لك ولهذا في الماضي yes مثلا Yes, uh, and no long and longer background events using present or past continuous. She goes up to this man and looks straight into his eyes. And then she goes or went, up to this man and looks ونظرت في عينيه مباشرة في عينيه أو نظرت في عينيه تنظر في عينيه أو نظرت المهم تتبع مضارع مضارع أو ماضي ماضي لا تغير في القصة مش تحكي قصة أو نكتة مرة مضارع مرة ماضي لا بدأت في المضارع she goes up to this man and looks straight into his eyes she's carrying a bag full of shopping إذا وتحمل حقيبة مليئة بالتسوق أو بالمشتريات أو تستعمل الماضي she went up to this man and looked straight into his eyes She, were, she was carrying a bag of full, uh, a bag full of shopping. إذن هنا استخدمنا الماضي. We can always also use the present simple to present a continuous like this. مثلا, King serves to the left hand court and Adams makes a wonderful return. <coughs> King serves to the left hand court And Adams makes a wonderful return. إذا هنا يتكلم المعلق هنا عن الرياضة أو كرة القدم. King serves to the left hand court. يعني حول الكرة إلى الجهة اليسار من الملعب. And Adams لاعب ثاني makes a wonderful return. و آدم عمل لفة رائعة. Okay. And Adams <coughs> makes makes a wonderful return. She's playing magnificent tennis in this match. She's playing. لأنه لاعبة تلعب تنس الآن فالمعلق يقول she's playing لأنها تلعب الآن. You hold the can in one hand, right? You are holding it in one hand. You hold the can. تمسك ال الحكة أو ال العلبة في يدك. Or you are holding. فممكن تقول له مضارع بسيط. أو مستقبل مستمر. Now, yes, now you take off the lid with the other. امسك ال hold the bottle and take off the lid. تعطي تعليمات. امسك ال ال القنينة and take <coughs> take off the lid وافتح uh, الغطاء. Okay. <coughs> yes. When we want to emphasize <coughs> that something is done repeatedly, يعني روتين إذا كنا نتكلم أو شيء يتكرر repeatedly معنا روتين شيء دائما يتكرر. We can use the present continuous with words like always, constantly, continually, or forever. إذا هذه معناها adverbs. إذا هناك شيء يتكرر. <coughs> هنستخدم الظروف الزمانية يعني مثلا They are constantly having parties until the early hours of the morning يعني they are constantly دائما أو نقدر نقول they are always They are always having دائما عندهم حفلات دائما عاملين دوشة دائما عندهم ضجة بهذا الشكل Yes, he was. أو مرات نستخدم the past continuous. حنجي عليه بعدين ذاك. The past continuous حشرحه في حين. The present simple is used to report what we have heard or what we have read. The مضارع يأتي عن the facts, the حقائق. يعني إذا ش قرأت شيء في الصحيفة. قرأت شيء خبر أو شفت خبر في التلفزيون أو جاء خبر عاجل. تستطيع أن تخبر هذا عن هذا بالمضارع البسيط مثلا This newspaper article explains why unemployment has been rising so quickly 
اذا اذا واحد يقول لك وات ار يو ريدينج شنو تقرا؟ قول ويل ام ريدينج ا نيوز بيبر عندي جريده صحيفه قاعد اقراها حيقول لك وات از ات اباوت شنو الموضوع اللي تقراه؟ فحتقول له This newspaper article explains talks about unemployment إذا هذا الموضوع يتكلم عن البطالة بطالة أو عدم العمل explains talks ليش؟ لماذا استخدمنا المضارع مع الصحيفة؟ لأنها حقيقة because it is a fact اللي بعدها I yes عندنا uh, أفعال اللي هي تأتي بهذا الشكل اللي هي gather يعني يجمع hear يسمع see و understand يفهم اوكي okay. I gather you're worried about the new job the prince is coming to visit and I hear he is very rich سمعت انه yes ال الامير جاء زيارة وسمعت مش I hear بالعربي سمعت لا انا اعلم اعرف او جاني خبر انه very rich فهنا لأنه very rich إنه fact حقيقة ومع الفاكتس مع الفاكتس نستخدم the present simple ببساطة أوكي okay. إذا راح نحل بعض التمارين الآن أنا وأنتم و بهذا الشكل نستطيع أن نعمل تطبيق الكل مطلوب منكم إنه قراءة هذه القواعد أو الأشياء بشكل بسيط ثم آه عملية آه الليسنينج تكرار في الليسنينج هذا هو الذي يتكرر لا أكثر ولا أقل ولن تأتي قاعدة خارج عن المنهج نبا يعني كل الذي سنأخذه هنا هو الذي راح يكون موجود في النصف وفي النهائي إن شاء الله no more information الموجود المادة اللي موجودة في الشيت الأول اللي هو المنهج والمادة اللي موجودة في الدرس والتمارين الدرس وخلاص يعني لن أتي بمثال لم تأخذوه أو قاعدة لم تشرح أو نحاول أن نعمل نو نو What you have taken is going to be in the exam اللي أخذناه حنلقاه إن شاء الله ما No more, no less ولا داعي للكلام الزايد ولا قالوا وقلتوا لي وشنو المطلوب نو درسنا هذه الصفحة إذا المطلوب المعلومات اللي هنا هذا اللي أخذناه هنا مع زائدا مع الصفحه التي هذه التي بعدها هذه هي الاكسرسايزز لا اكثر ولا اقل اوكي ناو خلينا نتوقف ونوقف الفيديو من اجل توضيح الامور حنبدا نحل التمارين التمرين اللي نحله هو الذي انتم مطالبين به ان شاء الله اوكي اكسرسايز 1 كومبليت ذا سنتنسز وذ ابروبريت فيرز مثل ما راح ياتي في الامتحان راح يكون هناك اختيارات انا اعطي الافعال اعطيكم الجمل وانتم تختارون الاجابه الصحيحه. اوكي لنبدا بالحل. نمبر 1 اي ات اس طبعا عندنا افعال هنا اللي هي حنختار احنا افعال للاجابه الصحيحه. Just a minute. I want to arrange myself. Imagine in no plan of Kotshay. Question number one. The Nabda El Hal Mubashara. It is a fortune at the moment to send our daughter to dance classes. Then, Wahdi Tekelem, Hanet Kelem Yamanakhtar, a present continuous, Rahnahud Mudara Basit, Ow, Ow, present simple, Ow Mudara Basit. يا اما مضارع بسيط present simple or present continuous sorry مضارع مستمر اذا حتكون الحل رقم واحد number unit two حقول it is costing تكلفنا it is costing us a fortune fortune معناها ثروة يكلفنا ثروة It is costing us a fortune at the moment to send our daughter to dance classes. And nurse the بنتنا إلى حصة أو فصل لتعلم الرقص. لماذا؟ لأن كلمة at the moment 
معناها ناو فهذه هي كلمة ناو الآن شو معناها الآن ناو معناها الحدث يقع الآن معناها في استمرارية فنعرف أنه هنا مستمر اللي بعدها it a fortune to fly first class to Japan الجملة الثانية تكلف ثروة أن تسافر على الدرجة الأولى لليابان فهذه فاكت حقيقة معناها أكيد التذكرة مش حتكون أقل من خمسة آلاف سبعة آلاف دينار لأنه فارس كلاس على الدرجة الأولى مش يس فحنقول it costs very good ما شاء الله آه عبد الرحيم عبد الرحيم هل اسمك عبد الرحيم يس costs إذا حيكون الفعل في المضارع البسيط a fortune to fly first class الأكيد فدرجة أولى ولليابان كم طائرة حتركب من هنا لإسطنبول إسطنبول ممكن للدوحة أو للإمارات من الإمارات ما أعرف هل هناك رحلة مباشرة اليابان I don't know لكن it is very very expensive number two yes مرام good حتى مرام إجابتها صحيحة very good I sitting down at the end of a long day uh, and reading a good book فإذا هنا number number two ماذا تقول I sitting down ماذا أنا أجلس و at the end of a long day في نهاية اليوم و reading a good book وأقرأ كتاب فرح تكون الإجابة I yes فممكن تقول I enjoy or ممكن حتى تخلي like أو ممكن حتى love I love Sitting, I like sitting. It's a wonderful book. I every moment of it. معناها now. Then it's a wonderful book. Number B. فحنقول I am loving. I am enjoying. Every moment of it. Number three. We've always wanted a house in the country, but we disagree. دائماً عندنا رغبة أن نشتري بيت في الريف أو نأخذ مزرعة في الريف. But we disagree on where it should be. ونختلف على المكان. When they agree with each other on so many important issues, when هذه عندما when معناها عندما معناها now الحدث يحصل الآن. When they agree with each other on so many important issues, I can't understand why they. Are disagreeing. Are disagreeing. Active here. Better. Are disagreeing. Are disagreeing. Yes. With a growing with growing concerns about the environment, مع ازدياد المخاوف حول البيئة, people people prefer يفضلون to use recycled paper products. ترفع يفضلون استخدام الأوراق المعادة أو المعادة التصنيع. B. He doesn't like publicity and has he doesn't like sorry number B four and prefers يفضل
to stay firmly in the background. Five, can I speak to Dorothy? إذن هنا يتكلم الشخص يسأل على دوروثي Can I speak uh, to Dorothy? لا فإذا هنا راح تكون Yes, very good الإجابة ممتازة من إيمان هنقول Yes, she's having is having a shower هي الآن في الحمام أو Yes, she's having a shower Can I take a message? My brother my brother, number five, has three children. هذه حقيقة. أخي عنده ثلاثة أطفال. All girls. كلهم. لا, مش is having. Has. يملك. أخي يملك ثلاث أولاد. أخي عنده ثلاث أولاد. That's it. كلهم بنات. Oh, sorry. ثلاث, three children. ثلاث أطفال. كلهم بنات. Three children. ولدين وبنت. بنتين وولد. Okay, so he has. خلص. Okay, number اللي بعدها. Although he, although number six, he three cars. رغم إنه يمتلك عنده ثلاث سيارات ما شاء الله. Although he owns O W three cars, all of them are extremely old. The ثلاثة. قديمة جدا. Number B in the north of the country في شمال البلاد fewer and fewer people are owning houses يمتلكون لأنه الحدث هو الآن now are owning owning Yes, are owning the house they live in. حنحل التمرين اللي بعده ونتوقف هنا. Choose the present simple or present continuous for the verbs. عندي هنا أفعال حتختاروها مجرد اختيار فعل وهذا يشبه الامتحانات الـ MCQ اللي راح تكون إن شاء الله في الكلية. لكن الفرق الفرق إنه هنا في خيارين في الامتحان راح يكون في ثلاثة أو أربع خيارات ثلاثة أو أربعة خيارات أوكي عندي هنا نمبر 1 Fletcher pass to close who shoot just over the bar إذا هنا معلق رياضي يصف مباراة كرة قدم إذا Fletcher اسم اللاعب passes يعني يمرر passes يمرر الكرة to to calls who shoots اللي يضرب who shoots just over the bar فوق العارضة United اللي هو الفريق much more in this yes Yes, so United are اللي هو United uh, United معروف Manchester United أو شو نسمه are attacking يهاجمون ليش أنا قلت مستمر لأنه الآن الحدث يحدث الآن إنه فريق United يهاجم الآن أكثر أكثر الآن A man come home late one night after the of, the office Christmas party his wife wait for him and she say to him, yes. A man come home late. يحكي لنا قصة. إذن هنقول number two. A man comes home. رجل جاء للبيت. Late one night. His wife, كانت زوجته, is waiting for him. كانت تنتظره أو تنتظره. هنقول is waiting, ing, استمرارية الآن. Is waiting for him. And she says, وقالت. 
خلينا نكتب الواي بشكل احسن شي سيز تو هيم 3 ناو that the rice now that the rice is cooking now the rice is cooking لانه الان قلمت now لاحظوا الان is cooking فمن عندها نعرف انه i n g cooking now the rice is cooking You chop up to cut the carrots, al jazar, tomatoes, tomatum, and you put them. Tadahum in a dish. We have the shaker. Even had them with Timberian, Lihal Han Helhum and Anu Hanatawaka Funa. If you want. For further practice, إذا أحد فيكم يحب يمارس أكثر أو يجرب الحل بشكل يعني بشكل مثل ما نقول يعني أكثر لتطبيقات أكثر. You can finish. ممكن أن تكملون الصفحة إلى الأخير اللي هو لسه في تمرينين. و you can check the model answer في نهاية الكتاب هناك الأجوبة النموذجية. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being with me today. Sorry for making this as uh, number five. Where is number five? Uh, can I speak to Dorothy? Yes. خلينا نفتح الصوت. Okay. حنفتح الصوت الآن. You can talk. اللي أحد يحب يتكلم. Yes. You can use your mic. اللي يحب يسأل سؤال. Which one? Number five. عبد الرحيم. السؤال رقم خمسة دكتور. أي واحد. السؤال الأول. حاضر دقيقة جسد منه. اللي هو Dorothy. اللي يبدأ yeah. بDorothy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Dorothy, the action is happening now. يعني واحد يتصل يقول can I? يعني مثلا قبل شوية رن التليفون. رن التليفون. Okay. Can I speak to Dr. Shaivan? No. He is giving a lecture. He is having a class. هو عنده حصة يعني في استمارية. إذن can I speak to Dorothy? She is having a shower. هي الآن في الحمام. نبي علاش ما استخدمناش هازنج؟ شيز هازنج شيز هازنج لا يا عزيزي لانه اصل الفعل هو هاف الفعل في الاصل هو هاف ويتحول في المضارع الى هاز زي ما زي زي دو للجمع ودز للمفرد ما يعني ما تجيش هازنج لا لانه الاي ان جي ياتي مع الفعل الرئيسي هافنج دو وينج Okay, we have a shaker. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Okay, thank you for your asking. Thank you for your question. Thank you, guys, for for being with me today. See you, inshallah, and good health and well, very well, inshallah. Next lecture. The class is going to be on YouTube. راح يكون على اليوتيوب موجود. وأي حاجة تحبون تسألون عليها تفضلوا ممكن للتواصل مع مندوبكم. أو عن طريق اليوتيوب أو إلى آخره فإذا أنا موجود بإذن الله لمساعدتكم لاجتياز هذه المرحلة بإذن الله بنجاح شوفكم على خير جميعا and see you إن شاء الله next week مع السلامة